and welcome. So we are doing UHV3 and in UHV3 we were on the practice sessions. We've more or less completed exercise one, observing the self by the self. Yesterday we discussed step seven and um, if we go back to, you know, recapping the steps. In step one, yeah, if you can go to the next slide. Can we go to the, uh, yes, this one. So, I am the consciousness, I am the self, and I'm observing myself. So in the step one, we are observing our imagination, our feeling, our thought, our expectation. And we are to watch this every moment without reacting to it. Observing it just as it is, without evaluating it, without trying to change it. Once we are comfortable with that, then in step two, we asked if the feeling that I have at any moment, whether it is natural for me or not, whether I want its continuity or not, is it naturally acceptable to me or not. In step three, we asked that with this feeling that is either naturally acceptable or not naturally acceptable, Am I comfortable within or uncomfortable within? Am I in harmony or contradiction within? In other words, am I happy or unhappy with that feeling? And you'll find that these three steps seem to happen very rapidly in succession once you get used to observing and asking yourself. So you may feel like step one, two, and three are almost combined together. And once you are comfortable observing, you can as well do that. It will start happening in very quick succession because soon as you are able to notice the feeling, you will also notice whether you are comfortable or uncomfortable with it and whether it's naturally acceptable or not naturally acceptable. Step four, who decides the feeling that I have every moment? Is it somebody else or the situation outside or do I decide it myself? And we said that it is quite clear that we decide our feeling by ourselves. This step also once we are familiar with it and we know that we decide the feeling, we won't have to ask this question again and again. Step four. However, we may have to remind ourselves about this because we tend to get impacted by the outside many times when somebody else is. Um, with behavior that we think is not to our liking. So we may have to remind ourselves, who is deciding my feeling? Is it this person outside or am I myself deciding? And of course, you know, since I am deciding, I can choose to decide what kind of feeling to have. I am not bound by the other's behavior because my natural acceptance is still the same as it was. And this is not naturally acceptable to me. This is making me unhappy. So I need not choose for this feeling. So you'll find that these four steps may happen very quickly. Coming to step five, on what basis do I decide my feeling? You know? Did I decide it on the basis of right understanding or 
in the absence of understanding, did, did I decide it on the basis of some assumption of preconditioning? This question you may have to ask again and again. Because many of our preconditionings, our assumptions, our sanskars are very, they have been there for a long time. They are quite deep rooted and we are not aware of them. And this tends to drive our feeling. So we'll have to ask ourselves, how did I decide the feeling? Is it on the basis of some assumption without understanding or is it on the basis of right understanding. And it is also clear that we don't have completeness of right understanding right now. So what we would have to do is, we would have to see that I am, you know, what kind of assumption am I deciding my feeling on? And is it in line with natural acceptance or not? This is what we would have to see. Then in step six, we asked, you know, which are the feelings that are naturally acceptable to me? Because I have to see what I have to align my feelings to. And we found that the feeling of relationship is what is naturally acceptable, not the feeling of opposition. Feeling of harmony is naturally acceptable, not disharmony. And feeling of coexistence is naturally acceptable, not feeling of struggle. So therefore, in step 6b, we had concluded that we need to ensure right understanding of relationship, of harmony, of coexistence, incompleteness. Only then will we be able to have that feeling. Only when we understand it correctly can we have that feeling for it. So it just brings up our need for working on ourselves, our need for exploration, our need for awakening to the higher activities and our need for completeness of right understanding. In step seven, we said that if, you know, we can try to ensure the feeling at that moment, make sure that it is in line with natural acceptance, that it is feeling of relationship, harmony, coexistence, you know, in line with these, not otherwise. We can try to do this at the moment. And of course, if we do that, we feel comfortable, we feel calm, we are happy with it. So we can see that if we have these feelings ensured in continuity, then we'll be in a state of harmony and happiness every moment. So in 7b, we said, that when I am able to understand relationship, harmony, and coexistence completely, then I will be able to decide my feeling accordingly and I will always be comfortable within, in a state of harmony and happiness in continuity. So although this is when I have the right understanding, but even now, if I ask myself at this moment, what is stopping me? from having the right feeling. Even though I don't have completeness of right understanding, I have my natural acceptance as my guide. Am I referring to it? Because if I refer to it, the answer is very clear. There is no ambiguity there, isn't it? So what is stopping me? So this is what we had been talking about yesterday when we spoke of the assignment. We can go back to the assignment. We said that we need to become aware of our imagination, of our feeling, see if we are comfortable or uncomfortable, 
and of course if you are uncomfortable means my feeling is not naturally acceptable so we asked ourselves if we can ensure a feeling of relationship within ourselves at that moment feeling of harmony feeling of coexistence at that moment so were we able to do this assignment you can reply in the chat were we able to do this assignment yesterday yes i'm getting a few yeses sometime okay nice very nice couple of nos are there so is it no because we didn't pay attention or is it no because there is a question mark or we are unable it says unable why are we unable if you can ask if we can discuss that let us do it now you can raise your hand we can discuss whether you were able to do it or not able to do it you can share with us it will be useful for everybody to listen to even if you are not able to do it and you feel you are unable to do it why are you unable to do it good morning uh, actually yesterday i was in tribal devi that's anyway uh-huh. i was in observation with uh, my feelings at the every moment but as far as uh, observation by sitting at a single place that i could not do it no no but you don't have to sit at a single place for this you just have yes. to observe your feeling and you have to see is it based on right understanding or not you know is it in line with natural acceptance or not yeah that 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 was there even during traveling and at the time when i was discussing with some of my student on the way of journey mm mm-hmm. uh, that uh, observation was there mm mm-hmm. and what could you find yeah there was a feeling of relationship while i am talking with my student uh, alumni mm mm-hmm. and we discussed a few points uh Uh, which are related to our institution and naturally applicable to all human values and there is a feeling of happiness feeling of relationship mm-hmm. nice. and i think uh, as i said earlier there was uh, not particular time of observation i took but at the moment while i was traveling i was there in my field i was there on the way of journey there was a quite observation was there mhm so you will notice that your feeling keeps changing moment to moment yes. moment to yes, moment yes yes this that that i observed it even when i come across with the interaction with the somebody there is a change feeling moment to moment feelings are changing yes so we need to be aware moment to moment because we want to be happy and we want to be happy all the time we don't want disharmony within we don't want unhappiness within but if we are not aware of the feeling then we we are not aware of why we are unhappy we certainly feel uncomfortable we do become unhappy but we may not be able to pinpoint why we are unhappy and what to do about it because if you don't know why you don't know how to correct it isn't it so yes, that yes, is why the significance of paying attention inside also and when we do the exercise to we'll see how we can pay attention inside as well as pay attention to the body as well as pay attention outside all that is possible so nice thank you for your observation yeah thank you thank you very much dedi
thank you yes others who would like to share can also raise your hand and we will pass you the mic because this is an important um exercise that helps us to sort of pay attention to what's going on inside even while we are doing things outside so to begin with we sat in a quiet place and did all that you know but later once we get familiar with the exercise it's not just about doing it for half an hour once a day this is a practice that has to be continuous all the time whether we are sitting talking walking eating whatever we are doing we need to be doing this alongside ma'am for me uh, i am able to see uncomfortable in myself while my body is not supporting me that is i wanted to do uh, more number of jobs but somehow some hormonal imbalance some processes into me that i can understand also but uh, my job is uh, put at lag so that is bothering me always that uh, how to overcome this type of uh, feeling ma'am where self is not satisfied because body is not supporting what do you mean by body is not supporting i mean behavior work work is incomplete work is uh, staying back uh, because of some uh, lag in the body I mean uh, uh, some discomfort in the body that is uh, to say i have i have thyroid ma'am so now i am into natural thyroid treatment where i have stopped taking all my medicines and i am going with natural uh, means now i have lot of uh, bodily changes where this stay needs more rest for my body but i have lot of uh, works to be done officially as well as household household also i am able to manage but officially this pending is uh, stopping me i mean this is specializing myself that is this work has to be done that has to be then self is not happy now how to overcome this feeling ma'am yeah see we have to be clear about who's the boss no yes yeah. is it the body or the self no yes ma'am yeah so if we are using the body like an instrument then we are the ones who are responsible for the body no yeah if i feel unhappy that body is not supporting body it's almost like i'm dependent on the body being doing something and i feel helpless but really if we look at it we are the ones who are responsible for the body so whatever be the reason in fact you know when we do this in more detail and we do exercise too and if you observe you will see that the recognition and fulfillment in the body is very definite mm. so the body cannot make choices but certainly i can no mm. lot of times we don't make the right choices and because we are not aware of what mm. is the right choice no and so it impacts the body in a way that it leads to some disharmony in the body otherwise if you see the body is always having the kind of recognition and fulfillment that tends to try to be back in harmony okay so when you are sleeping when you are you know yeah to give it food at the right time it can digest it properly you will do that say a time when it is not right for the body because recognition and fulfillment and this is an example recognition and fulfillment in the body is very definite so if i give it food afternoon after two o'clock or so now the body's digestive capacity is not mm. there mm. to absorption and assimilation and all of those activities 
but if i don't understand that and i give it food now i have the choice no i can make the choice when to give it food yeah i don't make any such choices so whenever i give it food it can't say okay it doesn't matter i will digest it now i can't do those things the recognition and fulfillment is very definite so i need to understand those things it is a material unit yes i am the consciousness unit i am the one in charge i need to find out little more of the body and try to keep it in harmony but mm. certainly if it is going into disharmony yeah that need not be a cause for my unhappiness i just need to really find how to overcome it ma'am that i am able That's to fine. understand i am into process also and whatever you said uh, the eating everything for past 10 months i've changed it before 7:30 night dinner is over when I'm hungry only i'm taking so so many i am into the process but body is into the process no so it is a very slow process because we are into natural treatment i am on the right path but it is slow but we have all of our activities to be done right that is slowing down uh, that is bothering me a lot how to overcome that uh, i mean this yeah, process so the problem is not in the body the problem is not in the body the problem is in the self yeah. is what i'm trying to say yeah we think that it is the body because okay. of my body i am unhappy because the body is slow i am unhappy but really if i understand all this that i am having the understanding if i really understand the whole process then i can see that the body doesn't have any choice it is only i who have the choice and this has not happened just today it has happened over time so just as the disharmony has happened over a long period of time to correct it back bring it back into harmony may also take some time so i will accept that okay. and i will plan accordingly isn't it yeah so what is stress stress is i am having feelings that are not naturally acceptable i am in discomfort mm. now i am thinking body should do this 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 i have planned you know in number of things mm. but i know that the problem is there and the body will not be able to manage to mm. do so many things you know even if i give keep instructing mm. body has its own limitations so my expectations are not right here isn't it yeah and when the expectation is not met then i'm getting disturbed i'm getting unhappy but rather than do that if i can see that this is how you know the process is and i am in the process i am taking the treatment or whatever and i am trying to bring the body back in harmony meanwhile i don't get this i will plan accordingly i might be able to take help from somebody i might be able to you know so many options may be there okay I prioritize what is important i will do that i will not try to do Okay. I will plan accordingly, but I need not become unhappy. That's only in my control, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Ah, uh, Didi. Yeah. Uh, when I interact with the people uh, near and dear, ah, uh, I ah uh, my expectations are uh, yeah, same uh, frequency. They. Uh, their uh, words and uh, all those but uh, i found uh, i am having a strong feelings of relationship with uh, harmony and everything uh, i used to talk with them but uh, i feel something they are not in open minded to talk and uh, the nowadays uh, people are so busy with uh, uh, running behind earning money and all those uh, so what i feel while interacting with the people uh they are not to open mind that they are uh, not speaking with the whole heart uh, so i observed uh, during my interaction so what does that mean what could you conclude from that uh, means uh, 
and uh, because uh, we will expect uh, same uh, some uh, somehow same way they need to respond then we feel happy otherwise our uh, uh, mind may get some little bit uh, disturbance or uh, the yes uh, see what you said just now we have the expectation that they should behave certain way only then we can be happy is yeah, that yeah. is that the reality or is it an assumption question uh, it <laughs> of course uh, it is assumption but uh, as a human being <laughs> we are uh, uh, definitely have some expectations a little bit no, no. having an expectation is one part okay. becoming unhappy when the expectation is not met that is yeah. something that you have control over no uh, yeah See, oh, what, what is going to happen outside you may expect yeah. something to happen yeah but it may or may not happen outside because that yeah. is not in your control yeah, you go yeah. to light a fire but yeah. the the wood is wet yeah. so you make all the effort and you light the fire the fire doesn't get lit yeah right you had the expectation yeah. that i will light this fire yeah but now the wood is wet it's not going to happen so it doesn't happen now this is not in your control yeah but being happy or unhappy about it that is certainly in your control yeah yeah isn't but, it but uh, what i do is uh, every week uh, at least weekly once or twice uh, i used to make phone calls to near and dear uh, asking their well being and everything even though uh, regular uh, repeated calls uh, weekly at least once or twice uh, they are the same way uh, their uh, a uh, mindset or uh, they are speaking like that not only one day or uh, uh, some only very rarely i am calling i am calling regularly weekly then also what i found see you are also expecting something and when you are not having that expectation met you are unhappy now you Just can say I am, you, I am, have, I am, you have I am, given, you have wait 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 you have yeah. been given this information over so much time still you are doing the same thing it's the same yeah. thing then they lack yeah, just my mind asking uh, to know their well being uh, that's all uh, my intention if that is the case then you ask about their well being and that's it why yeah. do you have this expectation that they should listen to or be able to appreciate what, what you are saying and all of those things na so you will find somewhere we also have an unreal expectation yeah and uh, our feeling is not ensured therefore we are looking for the right feeling from them yeah uh, uh, what i seek from them is uh, they are also need to know realize the relationship and they are also need to be oh, happy at the end do it at their own pace you cannot yeah. force it no yeah 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 <laughs> how, how do i make them to at least realize uh, uh, some you don't have to out. make anybody realize you cannot make anybody else realize anything yeah you yeah. need to have you know work on yourself they will have to work on themselves we yeah. can certainly make effort yeah yeah but we have to have the acceptance na they yes, are lacking yes. understanding they will take time just as i am taking time isn't it yeah, yeah i am yeah. also having unreal expectations even though i have gone through all this they may yes, not sir. have gone through all this yes sir. no that also now temporarily i feel at that moment and afterwards uh, it has gone up ah. yeah. so it's true that you know we do feel some discomfort or you know and we can see that you know, my expectation from them is more than what they can uh, deliver yeah. Yeah, yeah. but then i have to accept that they will be able to do it at their own pace no i can yeah. certainly make effort so if yeah. i have a feeling of relationship i will not be disturbed yeah with yeah the feeling of relationship with the feeling of acceptance that yes it will take time i keep making my effort but i don't have to be disturbed about it when will yeah. they do how will i make them no we don't have to worry about that yeah i have to make my effort and i have to be happy that is in my control 
yes, making sir. them realize is not in my control. Some things that we can conclude is that I am the consciousness, I am the self, and I am able to observe myself. I am able to observe my imagination, I am able to observe my feeling, my thought, my expectation at any given moment. And if I can do it at any given moment, certainly I can see the possibility of seeing it, observing it every moment. I may not be there yet, but at least I can see, I can conclude that this is possible for me. I am also able to conclude that I can observe those feelings which are naturally acceptable and I want to continue with and those that are not. I can also observe that whenever I have a feeling that is naturally acceptable to me, I am happy within, I am in harmony within. And that it is I who is deciding the feelings. So it means what? I am responsible for my own happiness or unhappiness, not somebody outside. Now, all the sharings we have had right now, we are sort of putting the onus or the responsibility somewhere outside. Body is not functioning well, therefore I am unhappy. Somebody else is behaving some way, therefore I am unhappy. But that is the whole point, isn't it? They are doing based on whatever their capacity is. That doesn't change what is naturally acceptable to me or to anybody else. And since I am the one who is responsible for my own feeling and therefore for my own happiness or unhappiness, I need to pay attention to that part, isn't it? So I am getting impacted by the outside situation because my feeling is not insured, you see? Because my feeling is not insured, I am not in harmony, I am not happy, I am looking outside for that feeling at that moment. Therefore, ultimately I have to ensure the right feeling in myself at all times. Only then can I be happy in continuity. But at least this much I can see that I am 100% responsible for my happiness or unhappiness. So I need not complain about others. It's not about the other, it's about me. Now who do I complain to? Isn't it? So I need to start making effort for my own self-development, for my own transformation. Isn't it? Now there is no need to complain, this one is like this, therefore I am unhappy, what to do? That one is behaving this way, what to do? I can see that by everybody is in their own journey, everybody will take their own time, just like I am taking time. I have heard this information so many times that I am 100% responsible for my feeling, yet I keep complaining about the other. What does that mean? Lack of understanding. Even though I have the information, I don't have the understanding. Similar is the case with the other also, isn't it? So why do I have an unreal expectation that they must be able to see this, they must understand? Certainly everybody has a need to understand. And if I can see that, then I will make effort for my competence to build. At the same time, I will make effort for the other also, but without any unreal expectations. And if they are not able to see it, then I don't get unhappy. I accept that it will take time, but I continue with the feeling of relationship and I continue to make my effort. So this one can conclude. So each time you catch yourself complaining about somebody, check. What are we doing? Isn't it? I can take responsibility for my feeling. 
isn't it i can also take responsibility for making the effort for them but i cannot take responsibility for them reaching realization that they have to do themselves that i cannot make anybody understand or make anybody realize i can certainly help in the effort but if their willingness is not there it will not happen and their willingness is not there means lack of understanding they are giving importance to something else because they don't understand that this is significant even so i can have the right feeling the two can be looked at independently now we don't have to have one impacting the other step 5 i must see what is the basis of making the decision that i made about my feeling either it is understanding or it is lack of understanding if it is lack of understanding then it has come from somewhere outside past experience or somebody said something or some assumption i have made without knowing so now i can see that i do need to know i need to understand so that i can have the right feeling at all the times and be comfortable because if i am going just by the assumption it's not clear whether i'll be able to have the right feeling or not so i need to ensure right understanding this at least we can conclude then we said in step 6 that the feeling of relationship harmony and coexistence is naturally acceptable to me so simple no therefore i need to understand all this so that if i can ensure this these feelings then i can be happy at this moment so if i try to ensure this feeling now at this moment i can be happy if i can do it at this moment then i can do it at the next moment and i can do it at the next moment so i can do it at every moment that is certainly possible and i can be you know continuously in happiness so these conclusions we can make from exercise 1 now we'll briefly open up exercise 2 um if we can go to yeah in exercise 2 what we are doing is we are going to be trying to observe the body and the interaction between the self and the body by the self now here this is not a separate exercise from exercise 1 in the sense yes the focus here is the body but at the same time our focus on the self will not shift i still need to observe the imagination i still need to observe what is going on is it naturally acceptable or not all those steps still need to be going on in the self while doing that i will also be observing the body and the interaction between the self and the body so in other words this is you know i am not just observing the body i am observing the self first and foremost and along with that i am observing the body and the interaction between the self and the body and i am the one who is doing it again just as a note to put across this is only one way of looking inside it's not the only way you now when we say only uhv what is uhv we are trying to understand the reality that is what it is so let's not confuse uhv 
with this process of trying to understand the reality. Isn't it? Otherwise, we, you know, identify one with the other and we say it is only UHV that can help anybody. So UHV, what we are doing in that is trying to see the reality, trying to understand the way things are. And in doing that, this exercise, these two exercises, this is one way that can make it possible. There may be many ways. So this is one way that we have chosen to go with, but certainly there are many, many other ways. And the steps that we are mentioning in these exercises, Again, they are one possible set of steps, it's not the only set of steps, isn't it? Yes. So now if you look at, this is a very familiar, I think the color coding is a little bit different, but the chart should be very familiar to all of us because we have been through the workshops, several workshops and even earlier, we have gone through this whole process of, you know, trying to understand these two realities. The self representing a consciousness unit and the body, which is a material unit. And how the material and the consciousness are very different. We shouldn't confuse one with the other. Because in our living, if we don't understand it, it will keep showing up in our living. So, we've been saying, you know, human being is a coexistence of self and body. But what does that mean? Hmm? That coexistence part, we may not be able to see yet. We try to understand it with words, but words are not sufficient. Words are only pointing to some meaning, right? That meaning I try to deduce based on my logical thinking and all, but even that is not enough. Because many things are more subtle than what I can think about. Then what? Then I have to directly observe. There is no other go. I have to directly see within the self. Thoughts will not do it. Trying to see through the body, through the sense organs will not do it. Because these are matters which are more subtle than that. So I need to directly observe within the self. And this is doable. This is possible. We all have that potential. We may not have reached that potential yet, but the potential is there. So we can certainly make effort in that process so that we can eventually get there without reaction. A lot of times what happens is we get disheartened. Are I'm trying from so long, it's not happening. But how long have we really tried? If we look at it, we may not have, you know, we may have been looking outside for generations. And for now, for a few months or maybe a year or two, we are trying to do this and we are getting disheartened. Look at the big picture. We need to see that the only way possible of trying to, you know, understand that reality is to see it directly within yourself. Because these are the reality that you want to see is actually very subtle. So the body sense organs cannot help you, your thoughts cannot help you, the language cannot, I mean, they can help, but they cannot make you see it. That part you have to do within yourself. That exploration part you have to do within yourself. So all this that we studied as information, in the 
workshop that the needs the activities the responses of the consciousness unit and the material unit are very different from one another now we have to try to directly experience this observe this within ourselves so we are that lab where we can get this you know practically we can do this and see it for ourselves so earlier we got the information now we have to try to directly see this within ourselves like for instance my need is for happiness isn't it it has to do with feelings now we heard this but we have tried to do this with the exercise so i may be able to appreciate this better that certainly you know when we say this need of the self is fulfilled by right understanding and right feeling i may not have completeness of right understanding but i may be able to appreciate this that whenever i have the right feeling right feeling meaning feeling in line with my natural acceptance i feel happy so now you can see you can conclude this you know it that my need for happiness is fulfilled by the right feeling within myself doesn't have much to do with the outside because with the outside i will constantly keep trying to change everything outside so that it fits what i think it should be like and this is an ongoing process and it is going to be very disturbing and ultimately you know not lead to the right feeling for long i am depending that the outside must always be the way i want it to be only then i'll be happy then there is no possibility of continuity because that is not in my control then i will keep suffering the unhappiness and trying to blame it on something outside but to be able to directly see that yes this is what leads to my happiness that i when i have the right feeling even though the situation outside has not changed now i am comfortable now i can really say that yes i know that you know my need for happiness can be fulfilled by having the right feeling isn't it so like that bits and pieces of things we may know but many things we may still need to know so we'll try to observe this for a few minutes within us try to observe some of these things my needs being fulfilled by the right feeling my activities they are continuous within me the feeling thought expectation because now i have directly observed it i can see that it is continuous so some of these things we'll be able to directly observe so we'll do that for a few minutes then we'll come back to questions so i'll mute myself here
Okay, we've been observing for a few minutes now. Do you have any other question or observation? Ma'am, another question. Is Ma this trust, respect, etc. as values or they are feelings only? Both. They are feelings and they are feelings which are of value. Isn't it? Uh, yes, ma'am. It is written again. There it is written nine values. That means we are fixing that these, these are only the values. Isn't it? Nine values. Uh, actually, it should be written nine feelings. Again, you are going after the word. Try to understand what is being said. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's not get fixated on the words. Mm -hmm. When we say feelings. Now, if you say anger, you know, um, hatred, are these of value? These are not of value. What we have listed is feelings that are naturally acceptable to us. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. So those are of value. All the feelings so are not valid. All the feelings, all the emotions, they may not be of value. Mm -hmm. If we see it in ourselves, we'll, it will be very clear. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Anybody else has any observation or question? We will try to observe this directly within ourselves today, all day, that our needs are different from the needs of the body. No? They are fulfilled differently from the body. Our activities are continuous. The bodies are not continuous. And our responses are based on knowing and assuming. Whereas in the body, it is just recognize, recognizing and fulfilling. Body doesn't have a choice. Body has definite recognition and fulfillment. Our recognition and fulfillment keeps changing based on our assumptions. So this we will try to reflect on all day to day, try to observe it directly within ourselves, not just the words, not just the information, but try to directly observe it within. And we'll take your reflections and observations about this 